Hey y'all, welcome to 5th grade, chapter 9, lesson 2. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn this ring on so y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you remember back in chapter 8, we had to learn how to graph things to put them where our coordinates said they are. So now we're just doing the reverse. So now we are going to tell what the coordinates are, okay? So for A, it says they went over 2 and up 3, okay? X-axis y-axis okay so you're going to do the x-axis and then the y-axis okay if you can't remember that y'all i like to say over and up and they're in alphabetical order o comes before u okay so over first then up so how many over then how many up okay so on b we go over one two three four five times When we went up, it looks like seven times. Okay, let's do the next one. C, we went over to four, okay, and up eight. It's really easy, guys, once you get used to it, okay? For D, we went over nine, and up three, okay? For E, we went over three, and up three, oh, no, sorry, and up four. And for F, we went over six, and up five. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, so you guys are going to now plot those over here. Okay, so you guys do 7 through 12. You totally can. Okay, all right. All you're going to do is you're going to put your dot. I will do N for you, and that way you guys can see where it's going to go. Okay, so we're going to go over 7 and up 1, 2, 3, put our dot, and we're going to label it 7, 3. Okay, or you can label it N, totally fine, okay? Either way, okay? You do not have to do both of those, just one, okay? All right, now we're gonna go down and do number 13. And it says, which building is located at five, six? So we're gonna go over five and up six, and it says Price Slicer Market. So, right? Slicer market. Okay. What is the distance between Kip's Pizza and the bank? Well, here's Kip's Pizza and here's the bank. So one, two, three, four, five, six units. Okay. We're not saying blocks or anything yet, so they're just using units. So we're just going to say six units. Okay. All right. So we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. You're brilliant. You can. Little geniuses. Okay. And we are going to go down and do this file review. What is the value of the underlying digit? So I, we love these because all you have to do is drop that underlying digit. And everything afterwards, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, becomes a zero. 60,000. Done. Okay. Andrew charges $18 for each lawn he mows. Suppose he mows 17 lawns per month. How much money will Andrew make per month? So 18 times 17. Okay. Seven times eight is 56, carry the five. Seven times one is seven, plus five is 12. All right, so we're going to tick, tack, and tow, and then one times 18 is 18. We're gonna add those up, okay? So we have six, we have 10, carry the one, and we have three, so $306. Make sure you have your dollar sign. That is your word answer for your word problem, okay? All right. Arlo can bicycle at a rate of 18 miles per hour. 
how many hours would it take him to bicycle a stretch of road that is 450 miles long? Okay. Well, let's write down our multiple of 18 to start with. Okay. So we have 18. I know we have 36. And after that, I'm going to grab my handy dandy calculator. Okay. So I'm going to do 18. Okay, so I'm going to keep hitting equals because I just did 18 plus 18, so I'm just going to hit equal 54, 72, and 90. And hopefully that's enough, but I'm going to do one more just in case in 108. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do some math. Okay, so 450 miles. and 18 miles per hour, okay? All right, well, 18 is gonna go into not four, the placeholder. 18 will go into 45. It looks like the closest we're gonna get is 36. So that's two times for 36, subtract. Five can't take away six, I'm gonna make that a 15, make that a three. So 15 take away six is nine. Nine is definitely smaller than 18, so I can bring down my zero, and 18 will go into 90. One, two, three, four, five times. Five times 18 was 90. Subtract, get zero. Make sure you're showing your work. So your answer will be 25 hours. Okay. All right. So... Make sure you're showing your work, guys, okay? You don't have to write down your multiples, but you do need to show your work, okay? All right. So, Molly uses 192 beads to make a bracelet and a necklace. It takes five times as many beads to make a necklace than it does to make a bracelet, okay? So, let's see. Here is for bracelet. Necklace is five times more. Okay, and all together, they have 192. Okay, so we need to find out how many it takes to make a necklace. Okay, so we're going to take that 192 and we're going to divide it by how many boxes we have. Well, that's five plus one is six. So we're going to divide that by six. Okay, so six does not go into one. So six will go into 19 three times. Three times six is 18. Subtract, get one. One is definitely smaller than six, so we can bring down our two, and six will go into 12 two times. Two times six is 12. Nothing left over. We're good to go, okay? Now, that means that each one of these boxes is worth 32. Okay? So we need to know how many that is all together. So now we're going to do 32. We're going to multiply it by the five boxes. Okay. So five times two is 10, carry the one. Five times three is 15, plus one more is 16. So 160 beads. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 9.2. Come on back for 9.3 soon.